Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and happy Tuesday to you all. Happy Halloween to you all. Hopefully, you are having a good day today. I'd like to think I'm having a great day today because I am 26 today. It's my birthday, and what a great way to celebrate my birthday with a little bit of uh, an extremely exciting comeback, a redebut, so to speak. Miss Heejin. Miss Heejin is back as a solo artist, part of, of course, the Artemis Project over at Mod House with her latest solo project and the title track off of it, Algorithm. I'm so excited for this. The first member of Luna, seven years later, is back. And my goodness, Heejin is. This is going to be such a great time because Heejin's always been a really well rounded performer, really well rounded artist. And I'm very excited to see what she's brought to the table today. So, without further ado, let's get started. DJ, roll the intro. Right TO, Heejin's algorithm. Now, I've seen the concept pictures going around and they look super cool. They kind of have like a historic uh, feel to them. And I'm really excited to hear what this is going to be like. Um, especially because, you know, it's been so long since we've had a solo Heejin project, right? Like Vivid was seven years ago now. Vivid was also a quite a charming, upbeat song. Even when it was just the acoustic guitar version of it, it was quite a charming song. And just based off of the concept pictures, they look, it looks like we're possibly going a different direction. I don't know. I haven't heard any audio teasers for it, so I'm very excited. Let's check it out. I need to move this out of the way. I don't need this one right now. That's a beat switch. That single rumble of the 808 there. Interesting. I do you believe this was an Artronic Waves piece, right? Holy vocal power, we are not holding back right off the gate, okay. Love the little arm scrumps. Shout out OEC one time. But also this groove is spectacular. Speaking of OEC, hello! But this groove is quite nice. It's like, it's got the kind of city pop, but it's also got the speed and the feeling of like a funk beat. It's also putting her voice in a really nice range where she can put some power in it, but not be like an overwhelming amount of power. And also maintain that kind of higher voice that she's capable of doing well. And it's a really nicely telegraphed chorus drop too. It's not the biggest riser in the world, but they really tell you when it's going coming up. And so you completely expect it and you feel every hit of it. Oh, kill the beat entirely, okay. Oh, mama bird. Hi, Hassan. Hopefully her concert series went well. Saw lots of clips from it.
God, the groove is so nice. Interesting choice to have the vocal ad-libs be filtered there. Definitely going that, um, like, you know, s social media, like, digital age kind of thing. But yeah, this beat, this specific beat right here is so nice. And we got a little outtake surreal, I love that. Man, oh man. Oh, low key though, this week when it comes to like soloist releases, like we've gone Taman to Heejin back to back days. That's kind of a spectacular back to back release schedule, I cannot lie. That's. Oh! My goodness. It's. What? Oh my. Oh, there's a. There's a triple S song that this reminds me of a little bit. It's like a brighter, more upbeat version of. Is it Dimension? It's one of the B-sides off of, I think it's the Rising album, but it gives me that kind of vibe, and I'm not mad at it. In fact, I actually quite like how well this type, this range and this specific sound fits Heejin. It's... Because Heejin... Heejin's one of those people where her talking voice and her singing voice do not line up at all. Like, her talking voice is very much... has that lower tone, which I think is the big charm about her voice. But when she sings, I mean, if you heard her sing in, um, in Girls Reverse as Lien, you know she could absolutely throw it into the stratosphere when it comes to her vocal range. And the fact that we got a little bit of both in here, but consistently kind of staying in that middle powerful range the way she did is just Chef's kiss, chef's kiss, and admittedly, I think like the historical styling part of it didn't really play into the song, but I'm really not mad at the fact that it didn't, because the song is just such a nice groove. And here's the thing: me being in orbit since what? So what? I think I didn't follow them since debut, so I haven't been around with Heejin for all seven of these years. But one thing I do know is ever since the whole Blockberry thing went down, enjoying Luna music, or post-Luna music, shall we say, has had an extra level of enjoyment to it. Because we're able to see them kind of be unleashed, get, get you know, a second wind behind their sails, and they look so happy being back, like, performing music again. And that to me is like the main takeaway more than anything, like regardless of how good the music is, it's the fact that they're back doing their craft, they're back performing their works, and they're happy doing it. And they're visibly happy doing it. That's what makes me just so bubbly and warm inside. But I do want to listen to the song again. Um, where is... It's the pre-chorus into the chorus that really caught me off guard. It's because... Actually, this is the verse, isn't it? Where's the pre-chorus? I guess we can talk about this part as well, but... Do you hear the amount of movement there is in that bass line? That bass line does not stop moving, and it adds such a nice texture to it. There's always some form of consistent movement somewhere in the song. And when it's, you know, a silent part in the vocal top line, there's still movement in the background. So the song never dies down in any way, shape, and form, and I love that. And then we get kind of like a city pop twinkling synth here. Na 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 
And the little ad libs throughout the song, they're usually filtered. Like it sounds like it's being like spoken through like a telephone or a small speaker. And that effect, I think, really plays into this whole kind of. I mean, the visual concept of being like, you know, the social media esque thing. It adds that kind of digital age feeling to it. And I think it's such a smart thing because her ad libs, you know, it could have been fine had they been completely unfiltered and it was just her voice. But I think by adding that extra texture with that vocal filter really adds to like the overall product of it. It's like. It's like instead of just doing mayonnaise on your sandwich it's like you do like sriracha mayo or like garlic mayo or something a little bit that's got a little bit more flavor to it than the original base version and i quite like that it's never an lt k-pop video until you get a food analogy in it but hey ho that's where my brain goes and i'm quite hungry so that's probably why i'm going there but that's besides the point that's another tangent for another day um this is great. This is brilliant. It's quite a vibey song for as energetic as it comes across. It's not a slow song at all, but it's also got a really nice groove to it. And I'm just, I'm just pleasantly, no, pleasantly surprised is the wrong word. I'm more than pleasantly surprised by this. It's so much fun. And of course, this isn't it because we have an album to get through. Um, the K mini album. We're going to be listening through all the B sides on that uh, for me in about two minutes. I'm going to go and get song lists and stuff like that ready. So keep your SPO for that if you are interested. But that is it for me today. Thank you all for watching along with me. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. One last request from me today. Let us work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra happiness back into the world. Whether it be you know, checking with your friends and family, holding that door open for somebody, or even picking up a piece of trash off the street. Just one small act of kindness to may brighten up someone else's day to day. And know that wherever you are in the world, should you ever be going through a tough time in your life, for whatever reason it may be, even though I'm just some guy on the internet who waffles about music in his free time, know that I will always be a friend, an ally, and a shoulder to lean on whenever you need me. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, spread the love, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!